Okay, we're recording uh, the program. Now let's go out on, uh, let's see, Facebook. There we go. And we're out on Facebook. Everything's good. Everything's terrific. Hello there, folks. How are you? It's Alex, and it's our little pop-up show that we do every uh, every Monday. And I thank you for uh, uh, being with us. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, and uh, uh, let me turn that off. I got I, you to kind of realize, you know, when I'm doing this, I'm doing all this technical everything, the switching everything uh, while I'm uh, talking to you. So anyway, uh, let me see here. Oh, boy, we got a lot of people ready and raring to go. Let's make sure they're all, uh, yeah, re real people that we that we know and love. And here they come. Oh, there is Jeff Stein, and there's Mandy O'Brien, and there's Charlene Solis, and there's Edward Berger, and there's Lynn. Uh, let me see here. And, uh, uh, of course, Jeffrey, move your camera up there. Yeah, yeah there we go. Okay. A lot of times people do that. You have a you have a, a laptop, right? That you're using. Yes. Yeah. yeah. They, what they do is they're looking down, but they don't see the you know. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Uh, Mike Chisholm and uh, okay. Oh, and here are some other people that want to come on. Uh, uh, and Nunn and uh, Paul Eleven wants to come on, and Marjorie Miller wants to come on. Uh, mm -hmm. There we go, and let's see here. And there's Paula, and there here comes uh, um, Mr. Nunn and Nunn, huh? You there? My, wife, my wife's computer. Yeah, it's your wife's computer. I hear from Charlie Wallace too. Oh boy, we got quite a crowd today. Oh, it's getting crowded in here. Anyway, hello everybody. How are you? Hello. Hey, Alex. You want, want me to show you something Ooh. driving me crazy for days? Yeah. All of a sudden, the other night, somebody says, why does your picture have a thumbs up on it? Mm -hmm. And I went, I, I don't, I have no idea. We thought it was like some kind of hack or something. <laughs> and it turns out that it wasn't a hack. It turns out that there's an, they put a new thing in the newest operating system for Mac OS, right? And they didn't tell anybody, or at least they didn't make a big deal out of it. Uh, and uh, what it is, is let's see if I can get it to work. See? Oh, what is uh, that? Yeah, I kept doing that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, look at my finger. <laughs> How did you do that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, you want to see something really good? Watch two fingers. <laughs> Holy <laughs> macro. <laughs> Alex and his toys. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, what is all that? Does anything. What's that no. noise going on? No, it's not happening now. Okay. Does it recognize hello when to you Mandy play? too? Did I say hello to Mandy? Anyway, so you, know, you just hold up two thumbs, and supposedly there are other Jeff. Only work. How come it only works for you? Well, it works only on Macs. Okay, if you have a Mac. And, I have a Mac. And the newest operating system, which is Sonoma. Oh, there you there go. You, it worked. All right. <laughs> Not working Ooh. on my iPad. Does thumbs down do anything? Well, that's hilarious. Does thumbs down do anything? <laughs> what about if you wink? Have you tried winking? No, there's something else, like you can do a heart, and it'll bring up hearts or something. But I... I don't know now if you I gotta use all your fingers. It's this. <laughs> I don't know, like that. I don't know. But anyway, I do know, know how to do fire. <laughs> <laughs> and you turn it off by going up to the top of your screen, and there's a green thing that's for your for your camera. And yeah. then you turn off reactions. Oh. Okay, and then it doesn't happen. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, but they didn't tell anybody it was there. And for days, it was driving me crazy because I thought my machine had been hacked. <laughs> yeah, we first noticed it last week on the on the Ramble. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what it was. It wasn't a hack. See, what happened was we, it's moments before that first happened, we had some guy call up and he was a Zoom bomber. And he used the name of somebody we already have on the show. 
and it was a guy, uh, let's say here, I'll put it nicely. It was a picture of a uh, video of a guy defecating. <laughs> in full living color. In full living color. Oh, so, no. so and in post-production, I had to get rid of it. Uh, and uh, it, it uh, but I thought that we thought that was a hack that was happening at the same time. Because, you know, it, it, thank you, Apple, for not sending out a memo saying, by the way, if you start seeing thumbs up and fireworks and so on, you know. It doesn't happen on the iPad. It, oh, you don't know. Well, I've got my thumb up. Uh, Maybe I, she doesn't have the latest, uh, the, the latest software. Well, I, I, the latest operating system I have. Okay. Well, we'll check it later. I bet yours will do it. <laughs> but anyway, that's how Apple drives you crazy. Then another problem with my uh, my RAID system here, which is hard drives, and um, I couldn't get it to show up on my TV set. And um, finally, I worked it, and I worked it, and I worked it, and I had sent them an, an, an email. Hey, this is happening. What's the problem? And I solved the problem. So I wrote them back. And I said, I solved the problem. And they wrote back and they said, well, we're, we're happy you solved the problem. They, a very good company. They're Chinese and they write back almost immediately. Okay. And uh, then I, but I wrote them and I said, you know, what it was, was you changed the system and you changed the program in which I had to have listed the folders and stuff I wanted to have come up on my TV set. And uh, really, you should let people know that. <laughs> I know you send out, they send out a thing all the time of the revisions to that particular upgrade, but there's so, so many of them and they're so technically written that you would lose it, you know, that you should say, hey, you having a problem getting something on your TV set? Here's how you do it, blah, 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 blah. But they're very good, so I can't complain about them. I, I don't know of anybody that get, gets back to you that fast. But then again, the Chinese are, you know. Oh, well, you want to hear something interesting? My wife called Hulu. There was a number for calling Hulu because there's a series that she wanted to watch. And if she Googles it, it says that season two of that series is on Hulu. But if she logs into Hulu, she can't find it. So she <laughs> called a number to talk to tech support for Hulu and an actual human being answered the phone. Wow. Oh, yeah, they do over at Hulu. They do. Yeah. Yeah. And did she find it? Well, she said the person did a bunch of research and said that it was coming, but it wasn't on the platform yet. Oh, okay. Oh, you see? Isn't that wonderful? But it was released in 2020, so I don't know why it takes them two years to get it, three years to get it on there. On the other hand, when it comes to customer support, I every morning I come in, I, I'm in, I wake up to Marjorie in here going, give me tech support, please. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to him. No, you do it. No, I mean, I, it's always another problem you've got with customer support. Let me talk to a human being. Well, that's <laughs> true all the time. Yeah, and it's you know it's terrible. We don't have, we don't get any service anymore. The whole world's going to hell in a handbasket. Okay, except for Bangladesh. For all I know, this person my wife talked to was in Bangladesh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, your problem wasn't a major problem to solve. Well, know? it took about 10 minutes for him to do research to find out that this, it was coming, but it's not on there yet. I had a problem with my, uh, I don't have a problem with, oh, with my, uh, my watch, my old Apple watch. I couldn't get it to go to AT&T and be work with the phone system. So I call AT&T. I'm on for a total of seven hours. Oh my God. For them to try and solve this problem. Okay. Finally, they say, well, we don't know. It may resolve itself, but, but, but we've tried everything, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And they hang up. And I'm like really depressed because my watch won't work with the phone system. So I then, for just craps and giggles, I say that so I won't be demonetized here. Uh, for perhaps <laughs> giggles, I uh, I go onto their site, onto the AT and T site, and then I go over to one thing, and another thing, and it says here, install 
um, it's like, you know, you have a, what's the thing you put in the watch? It's like, uh, or update the phone, phone. No, in the phone, it's a chip you put in the phone. Oh. Oh, well, the watch. SD card? Yeah, yeah, SD. <laughs> it's a, a virtual SD card. In mm -hmm. other words, they just send it to your phone or whatever. And I said, it just said there, click here. I figured, what the hell? I click there and all of a sudden I've got phone. After seven hours of talking <laughs> to AT&T and these wonderful techs who couldn't figure out what the hell it was. Did you take one or two naps in between? Uh, <laughs> <I> was, <laughs> No, I took a whole long nap afterwards, okay? <laughs> oh, it's impossible. So you're home today, uh, uh, right, uh, uh, Mandy? Mandy? Are you there, Mandy? Can you hear us? Yeah. Oh, you're at home. Yes. Well, why aren't you? Oh, it's Columbus Day. Yeah. No, it's Indigenous People's Day. Come on. Right. No, not, not Indigenous People's Whoa. Day everywhere. It's Indigenous <laughs> People's Day in Columbus, Ohio. And in California, too. <laughs> really? Yeah. I don't know what, what you all are talking about. It's Thanksgiving up here. That's right. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Oh. <laughs> Thanksgiving Day in the... Uh... You know why you know why they have Thanksgiving Day before we do because they harvest day we invented it. Yeah. <laughs> because they have to harvest early because it's so friggin' cold up there. <laughs> early harvest, that's right. Well, I think I think th Thanksgiving is a wonderful holiday. And it is they do have several of them around the world, oddly enough. You know. So but uh anyway, so I uh that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Anyway. <laughs> What the hell? Um, so uh, how how are you? So Mandy, you have the day off. Okay. Well, then you yeah. I mean, I don't know for whatever reason, my company does Columbus Day. I think that uh, it started with it kind of followed when uh, like the school has the holidays and stuff. Mm -hmm. I just threw it in there. It's like fall break down. They call it fall break. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for schools, so they just kind of do that so if you have kids in school you can be off too wow by the way this is my second phone call today or zoom call today to with uh albert it's enough oh, isn't it? albert. Huh? <laughs> it's enough it's enough it's two phone enough, calls man. a day <laughs> no i i enjoy we do the thing for the for the other show and he it's always an intelligent conversation you always bring you talk about the one with me <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I was late. I had to uh, take my medication, if you know what I mean. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yes. Do you vape pen it now, or do you uh, do you do you smoke a joint? No, I've been I've been away for a while, and I just recently got back into it. Uh, but I'm having the edibles now, the gummies. Because I'm old, so it, old people is all gummies. That's all we do is gummies. Yeah, gummies are the best. I can't yeah. really. You think so? Uh yeah. Well, for every medication, it. for anything, you know. Well, no, I take, gummy. I take I take my probiotics by gummy. <laughs> they have okay. everything. But the problem with, problem with with edibles and me, uh, with, where pot is concerned, I, I assume that's what we're talking. We're not really talking about edibles. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, I'm talking about edible, edible now edibles. On. Is that I? There's no control over how much you're getting. That's uh, uh, completely untrue. No. I don't understand why you say that's five. Yeah. Usually, either five milligrams in an edible or ten milligrams. Okay, so let's say you've got a gummy there. Yes, I took three. Oh, gee. They were each five, <laughs> were each five milligrams at, because I know what I need. Yeah. If I take five milligrams or ten milligrams, it doesn't hit me. Fifteen milligrams hits nice. 20 milligrams, see you tomorrow. <laughs> it's on the ballot in Ohio. It's, I'm, I'm excited. It's on the ballot now. It's disgusting Again, that, that, well, that really, it's federal, uh, legally, federally. Well, it's legal in New York. Yeah, well, it should be legal everywhere because you can't have it legal in one place and not legal another because suppose somebody travels from one state to another and they got their edibles with them and now they get arrested. Going yep. to jail. Yep. You know? I mean, yeah, not well, even that. It's a business. Audio off. 
it's a business and federally none of these businesses which is legal in over 30 states can do any banking legally because right. banking is uh regulated federally also you know and how they solve that time to, to to have uh marijuana they can't get a bank to, to yeah but to do you know what them. you can get to hold your money they they were having problems you know they when they first had it in where Colorado was it? Where was the first place? Colorado. Yeah, I think Colorado. it was Colorado. Colorado. They, they actually it would open up a, a dispensary and then they would also buy themselves several huge safes. And they, they, no choice. Them, and they would put the money in there and then they would hire an armed guard in okay. the dispensary to protect them from mm -hmm. because all the money is there. Well, what happened was they finally found that they could, the, the people who were willing to accept them were credit unions. And They'll so they the started money. putting all their, money, huh? yeah, they put all their money, huh? Yeah, all their money in credit unions. Yeah. yeah. And that's where they held their money. Yeah. Sorry, Our Bailey would be proud. Conversation. And I know what? Jeffrey was trying to say something there. Jeffrey, I stepped all over you. Jeffrey, uh, you were trying to stone man, so. audio. Yeah, he, he's... He's an old pot. There you go. Isn't he? No, I was yeah. off. Oh, see, I was unquiet. No, you you want you look like you wanted to talk, Mandy. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you there? Yeah. Uh, I was just saying when I was in New York, it was it was so crazy to just be constantly walking down the street and just getting wafts of it. Just you know, mm -hmm. and finally, I, I just looked at Mackenzie and I said, "I take it it's legal." She's like, "Oh yeah, it's legal here." People smoking it openly legal, but you know my problem with with walking down the street and smelling it is uh, the, people should be more considerate than that because there's some people don't want to get high mm -hmm. and if you walk by a guy who's smoking and it's he's really smoking it mm -hmm. you're an old you're man a, you're, because you're, when yeah, you were young you never would have said this no no <laughs> I'm, I'm not complaining about it for me personally but what i'm saying that's is, old man talk all, all i'm saying it is right. it is albert <laughs> No, it is an old man talk. It, it is. Old well, man yeah, talk. I see what you're it's saying. Now. Been going on for wait, 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 wait. Mandy understands what I'm saying. If you don't smoke it, or you know, if you've never smoked it, yeah, you could maybe walk through it a lot and get a little bit of a contact high. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, and and uh, the, somebody else should not get high because you want to. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't particularly care to get high much, except to put myself to sleep at night. I just I got tired of pot. But I, you know, I want to get high when I want to get high. That's why the gummies are good. Huh? So that's why the gummies are good. Yes, sir. They right, don't Charlie. affect anybody else. Well, if somebody was doing ingestible outside, fine. You mm -hmm. know. But, I mean, I have gone by street corners where, man, after you walk past the street corner, you're... But Alex, you it was like that 50, Alex, it was like that 50 years ago. Alex no. is waiting for the uh, marijuana colonic. That's what he was. <laughs> <laughs> it, it wasn't like that 50 years ago, okay? It was like that 50 years no, ago. No, because 50 years ago, you didn't smoke outside because you might get busted. What happened yeah, to you, man? Is. You were going to get together <laughs> with the guy from Rolling Stone and change the world. What was yeah. his name? He got old. The guy, the guy you used to hang out with and talk about changing the pot laws. Oh, uh, but the uh, the, uh, the writer, the uh, writer, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Way recently. yeah, you were supposed to get together with him and change the world. Listen to you now. I'm well, sure. no, we sat there and we were smoking pot together in my apartment, yeah. and we we're passing the joint back and forth. And he said, "One day this is going to be legal," and finally, like thirty or forty years late later, it was. But anyway, he became a conservative too, so. No, he wasn't oh, a conservative. He, he was a libertarian. Uh, that's closer to conservative uh, than he used to be. Yeah, but it, it's not. It's not. Uh, they they would believe in pot smoking, for instance. Good for them. the libertarians. They took a position that pot was okay. You know, should be legal. But the, what was his name? Okay. Oh God, my mind is so bad these days. What was his too name? much pot? <laughs> not enough. Not enough. Not enough. Well, not, not enough. Not enough, enough pot. <laughs> Uh, Funny, no, I was just, I was just in New York over the weekend, and uh, I when when Candy and I were walking around the city, we thought that um, uh, New York now is like Vancouver was 15 years ago. Even though technically it wasn't legalized up here, they just stopped caring. But that's how it feels in New York. Vancouver's mm. been like that forever. Beautiful. Well, New York is legal now, Mike. Yeah. Oh no, I know. It just, it just, it's what it's like though. It's on every corner. You know what's happening here? Though? You like it's. 
what what's happened here and of course i don't i don't mind it at all see what a liberal guy i am uh, albert um i don't mind it at all but the, the what's happening here is that they're not giving out the licenses fast enough for the stores and what they were going to do with the stores is they were only going to give licenses to people who had spent time in prison for pot fuss. It was a great idea. I don't know if it wasn't challenged and people saying, well, and that doesn't give us who are legal people who never got arrested a chance at a, at a dispensary. But the problem is, is they haven't been giving out the uh, the licenses. Enough. Like in Manhattan, I think there are only like two or three dispensaries. That's probably because they don't know who to give the money to, because it's all about money. Otherwise, it's all about money, money, right? But what happened is, is that you know those those head shops? They're all selling. Guess everything. who's selling pot? Guess who's selling pot? The head shops. That's Walk right. it in the head shop; they'll sell it to you. So, mm -hmm. I yeah. saw it everywhere in Times Square. So you're saying that like the people who have all those shops, it just funnels up to. Like well, they had, the, they had these head shops where they sold hookahs and bongs and things like that. And they just suddenly said, okay, you want some pot? He's selling pot. weed and gummies. Mandy's yeah. making me dizzy. What? Mandy's making me dizzy. How's she making me dizzy? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mandy, that's your pot. I'm Alan. sorry. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> <He's pot>. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, oh, she's in a rocking chair. Oh, that's right. a movie. Oh. I dig it. You know, that's what we got to get ourselves, Marjorie, is a rocking chair. I love rocking chairs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. I didn't say anything. In fact, I believe I have one in my storage locker. Up in I'm sure you California. do. California, yeah. My parents, my parents had an old one. What was great about it was a good rocking chair creaks when you use it. And a good rocking chair can balance. Do you, do you seriously mean? have a... A storage unit in California. Yeah. I, I, do I still have a storage unit in California? I've got two storage units in California. Oh, Are you still paying storage fees? Send me yeah, the key. Two hundred a month. Shit out. Huh? What? Said, send me the key. I'll go empty it out. <laughs> well, you know, if anybody wants to help me get that stuff shipped to California, but I mean, I don't know it's just too much stuff. And also, here's here's the thing about storage lockers. How many here have storage lockers? Anybody? But I have a friend that owns a storage locker company, and he's oh. making a fortune from people like you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> because here's the thing. You go, you put it in the storage locker. I'm moving to New York, but when I'm through, when I'm finally there, I will then ship all this stuff out, right? Yeah. Or any number of reasons why you have a storage locker. And, and that's been 40 people, hours. 40 people. Hours. Don't get rid of them. They don't want. They don't want to have to go through the problem of pulling everything out of there, and moving it somewhere else, and so on. So people <coughs> in storage locker places make a fortune. Well, two of my storage places in Poconos, I just gave up. You just left it there. Yeah, I said I can't afford it anymore. I mean, I had a free. Well, you got everything you needed out of there anyway. Yeah, I got everything I wanted, but I just let let, let it go. Yeah, but yeah, me, and I, the rest will be on a future episode of Storage Wars. Storage Wars. Mercury yeah, Miller's exactly. stuff. Yeah, exactly. right. If you haven't right. used it in 20 years, you probably don't need it. <laughs> well, I, I, the stuff I had, I needed. A lot of the stuff were like old recordings of my radio shows, which yeah. I got wow. most of them shipped out here. Damien Champlin, who's one of the people on, uh, on uh, Gabnet, is, runs a storage facility. And so he moved all my stuff from one storage facility to his, which was cheaper, wow. much cheaper. The only difference was that the price on that storage locker has gone up considerably in the last five years. Sure. But, um, he's out there. So he kept shipping me uh, my tapes. So I have most of my tapes here. And they're sitting in boxes that you've never opened. <laughs> no, I've opened. I've gone through a when? lot of when I first got them. And then I stored them because I took out what I thought I would need and use. Okay. Have you digitized most of them? Um, you know something? No. <laughs> no. Yeah. You, are so, you know, you're more critical of me than Albert is. <laughs> Who's <Anyway>. higher? <laughs> <laughs> Who's higher? 
Um, no, the problem is the problem. But no, and I forgot what I was going to say. Like What's life in the control? passing lane. Life, life in the passing lane had some clips from your show. Would you have taken some of those tapes and then digitized those clips? For life in the passing lane. Oh, oh by digitizing them. Mm. You know, if I could just put a audio tape in a machine mm -hmm. and then it would quickly go through and record it and then somehow slow it down in the sped up version, I, that'd be great. But you got to do it in real time. time you yeah. know, and so if I've got how many, how many tapes do I have? 3,000 tapes. Jesus. Well, you know, I've got to only pick the ones that look like they I, they have something good on them to make a copy. And then you well, have to start there with and... one. Sorry. I did. I've done a lot of them. I've done quite a few of them, Marjorie. I'll show you the files if you want to see them. So I do. So critical. <laughs> this would tough. be a good job for an Alex Bennett intern. I think you need to find yourself an intern. <laughs> Oh, I should find myself an intern. Well, you're, you're, you're a legend. Wife. You but should wife. do that. <laughs> yeah, but by the time, I got to tell you, at my age, by the time I get through doing all these tapes, because remember, it takes an hour to do an hour tape, uh, I'll be dead. Intern, <laughs> intern. <laughs> Give them to the intern. He'll do them. She'll do them. Whoever yeah. it is. And then she'll say, do I get to keep doing it in spite of the fact that he's dead? <laughs> got to know him you were his right hand person <laughs> <laughs> anyway so i mean that, that's that's part of the problem of making and then also I wait a minute marjorie i got an idea we won't cremate him we'll put him in his own storage locker <laughs> <laughs> now, one day um, one day who's gonna I'll pay, pay for, for the shipping yeah, who's gonna pay for <laughs> it, exactly. the shipping and i'm gonna put a plaque on the front that says albert paid for the shipping <laughs> <laughs> no one day i'm sitting here and uh there's a delivery from fedex or somebody like that anyway they say well, we're, we're bringing it up they bring it up and they lay on my front door the heaviest box you ever had to pick up. We had to go, I had to go get a thing we've got to, to, to um, move yeah, it. When I order heavy stuff, they leave it in the lobby. But you know what was in the box? Tapes. All CDs they had sitting around at Sirius XM of my oh, shows. Oh, wow. your shows. That's cool. They, they may have been at my desk or they may have been at your desk, but in any event, those CDs, you know, there were three to a show. Uh, by the way, I have all of that digitized already. That's what a good producer does. You have it all digitized? I have, I have every show digitized. Oh, no, no, no. You don't have every show. You you gave me what you had. And it's like certain interviews. This interview, that interview, this interview, that interview. You no, know, it, wasn't like, it wasn't like whole shows. I had the shows digitized because I used to pull them off the master uh, hard drive. Yeah, but I think I, I have a bunch of them here. But they, oh, well, they, they're... I'll, I'll see. Well, if you have them, you know, the serious years aren't the really great Alex Bennett years. You got to get the, uh, the, the San Francisco years. Yeah. That's, that's Don't worry I mean. about the serious years. The San Francisco. Well, we did years. some good stuff at serious. No, but the San Francisco years, I even want to hear some of that stuff. Those are amazing. San Francisco. <laughs> Albert, I didn't even know that he was Alex Bennett. Yeah. He was the big shit stain over there. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know who he was. The main shit stain. There's still a few of them out here. Had you heard of me before I came to work with you? Who, me? Yeah. Because you know. Yes, I had. Yes, oh, I had. had. Well, I didn't know much about you. To me, you were like Zachary, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's I, didn't know you, I know you because I'd worked at PLJ for, for many years. I knew I knew all the names and you were one of them. And mm. I, I knew your name from uh, uh, CA also as one of the good guys, but I had no idea who you were. I didn't know what you did. I didn't, didn't know what city you were in. You know, you were just like uh, another guy from, so I didn't know your name. I just didn't yeah. know anything about you. Oh, okay. So you didn't know anything about me. No, which probably was good. Probably <laughs> was good when you learned. Uh, then, what, now, then when you finally did. Oh, uh, what is Look at the legend I've missed out on here. Really? <laughs> <No. laughs> because you told me that. You told me what a legend you were. So <laughs> no, what, a, what a legend I missed out on. Those right. shows, 
The shows in San Francisco were unbelievable. I used to listen to them every morning on my way to work. The, the, the comedy, the, the pacing, the, the daily, it was just the best show ever. And the I little it. I know of, yeah, I, I hear that because I had to edit some that we put on serious sometimes. And, and some yeah. of the stuff was great. And I loved his old James Bond act too. I no, loved I that. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, I did. I used to love when you complained about having to play records. <laughs> yeah, you, you were pretty, you were pretty mean and nasty at times to some of those people. I love that. And I think, that, I think that's what people liked at the time. Weren't you billed as that son of a bitch on the radio? <laughs> and no, why not, love not the, hate? the man you huh? to hate that was in Houston was the man you love to hate, hate. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't play no requests well that was that was a, that was my slogan over at KMEL and they right. took out a big sign on the edge of the Bay Bridge yep paint, painted yep. this whole side of a building with a yep. picture <laughs> of me pointing like this going I don't take no requests yep yeah <laughs> You tell me some. Everybody kid tried to call in gonna... a request. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> some kid on YouTube is saying, "I got to be this guy's intern," just to hear the stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. A kid on YouTube but, but, never but, but, heard but, but, of me. But, but, but wait a minute, Alex. But I never but, heard of you either. So, and look, it's perfect. He but Albert, Albert, when I met him, I didn't know he was a big shot. I didn't even know his <laughs> name. Yeah. So. <laughs> Now, now he's told you many times over. You know? <laughs> well, I have my quote on the uh, on, on my face on my Facebook page right here. He used to be a big shot. Yeah, <laughs> you're still a big shot. <laughs> well, you know that's uh, I that's my favorite line from a movie, The Roaring Twenties, with Humphrey Bogart and Jimmy Cagney. Jimmy Cagney gets shot by Humphrey Bogart. He goes stumbling out into the street, stumbles out into the snow. The girl on the, goes up. On the steps of a, of, a, of, a, of a church where he's lying there. And, she, and the and girlfriend, girlfriend goes Girlfriend up. comes along and she's cradling him in her arms. And a cop comes along and looks down and said, um, who was he? And then she says, whatever his name was, and said, what does he do? She says, he used to be a big shot. <laughs> and those words resounded with me. You know, good line. Because someday somebody's going to say about me, he used to be a big shot. <laughs> and I've lived long enough to be there when they now say he used to be a big shot. So you know. well, at least my mother used to say that all the time. Yeah. Very few people get to be a big shot. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it, Albert, it, I didn't know him when he was a big shot. <laughs> It, it, Mandy is going. <laughs> no, I'm loving this. It's cracking me up. Well, I know this is not really changing the subject. When you're talking about digitizing stuff, I actually took a hard drive today to this company called Data Savers, so they can like pull like pictures and videos off of it because it's been on a laptop that I've had for like 15 years, 17 years, something like that. Mm -hmm. and the laptop just will not turn on anymore. So my niece took the hard drive out of it. She tried to kind of mess with it, but then I took it to this place. But I've been trying to load all my um, home movies and stuff onto a Dropbox. You, you know what I did? My friend Shecky, I got his main computer. And uh, it came with a bunch of external hard drives. And then there was the internal. And I wanted to see what was on the internal. I actually have a little thing. I can hook up the external right to my computer and look at the hard drive look at the whole well, drive my gonna try to do it she said she needed some special cord and i said don't yes, spend it, 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 it. I'll, I'll just do it i'll take it somewhere and they'll get them well it's a very simple process and all i have yeah. to do is you go to uh, uh you, you go online and you uh, to amazon and find something that will hook a hot ex internal hard drive with a usb you be out in the electricity and so on and you just, I just, all I do is I just, well, boom, and boom. How do you get, I or mean, how do you to, hard drive though, and what do you connect to it? It's just a cable. It's, it's just a cable. USB. Yeah, you can just leave it device. on the table. It goes into just, USB on your computer, and it comes up as a drive. Get a hold of Don Giller. He's got all kinds of old cables yeah. laying around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. As we were talking Don about Giller. digitizing, I was wondering if he's going to jump on right now. I'm yeah. sure he's watching. 
yeah. I mean, the point I was like, I had this little hard drive where I had my, all my tapes, all the little video tapes, you know, we had the little cameras we had back, you know, in the mm. early, t- yeah. I had all these home movies and I had them um, about 10 years ago. I had put on a, on a little hard drive and yeah. I've just had that for 10 years and then decided this is the only place I have. And then they also gave me some CDs, but I have this little hard drive and I just decided it needs to be somewhere else too. I've been putting them on Dropbox and that way at least my girls can access them and they can save them to their computers if they want to. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're, you're doing what is the simplest thing to do. However, it's expensive, you know? Yeah. yeah. How much are they charging you for that? I don't, they're, they're going to tell me, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming they're going to have success because I don't think the hard drive is not damaged. It was just that I've lost the power source to the laptop went bad. So I couldn't turn it on or charge it anymore. So I can even, why don't you just get another power source? I don't know. I'm not a tech person, so it just. It, what do you mean? Wait, is the thing that plugs the plug yeah. that plugs into it wasn't working. You couldn't even. Not only did it not charge anymore, you couldn't even plug oh. it in, to make it turn on. Oh, so, I see. Okay, all right. Okay. The one that took the hard drive out of it last Christmas. Man, do said, you need an intern? That's what you need. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Everybody should have an intern. Everybody. Yeah, it's a good idea. You never wanted interns when we were doing no, the They were a pain in the ass. If yeah. I didn't have any interns, I wouldn't have any work to do. <laughs> yeah, right. But also you saw it said to me that you didn't want to have an intern because you felt you you didn't want to have an intern come in and just like go get coffee. You no, know, I wouldn't do that to them. That, that wasn't what you I felt. Do that to them. You, you felt a responsibility towards an intern, and you felt it was a lot of work, so you didn't really want to do it. We, I think we. No, had not that it was a lot of work. It, 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 it just it wasn't the right situation in in, in this show because the only thing I could show them is stuff to do after the show. They they couldn't book any guests to do anything of that like that nature uh, on their own, so it was pointless. Well, neither could you. So. <laughs> well, <laughs> I tried hard at that. I worked. I worked very hard. Uh, 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 the job, a part of one of the jobs of a producer usually is to book the show, right? In some cases, it's the only job. Yeah, but to book a show, right? And you didn't like booking shows, so <laughs> you didn't, didn't like the process. Anybody. Didn't like the process at all. We've if had this some, discussion many somebody, times. If somebody fell into our lap, that was okay. And I will take credit for it. I booked that guy. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! You were so. You know, it was, you know, it's the best thing. I did have a couple of uh, uh, really good relationships with some really good PR people. A lot of a lot of the PR people weren't helpful at all. But I did have some really good. And sometimes they would say, "Hey, I have so and so. Would you like them?" Knowing fully well that I would have liked them. And I said, you know, that's why I love you because you're a good guy and you offer me stuff at the same time as I take stuff that I don't want. You offer me stuff that I do want. So, you know, those are the times where I would rush in and say, look who I just booked. And it wasn't really my fault. It was given to me, <laughs> handed to me. Well, it's but it made me look damn good. Yeah, I, that's fine. That was fine. Good. Take credit for anything you can. Yeah. That's what we do as humans. Yeah. But I mean, I, I, uh, uh, the booking get the PR people. I tell you, here's what bothers me about PR people. Um, like for instance, one time I, you know, I had an the, ongoing, for the kids. They're called branding people now. They're not PR. Yeah, I had an ongoing relationship with Yoko. Okay, but after years and years and years, and I move out to California, you know, you lose contact. So now I want to have Yoko on the show. And at, at Sirius XM. And um, I get a hold of the PR guy because that's <laughs> the only guy you can get a hold of. I lo- lost her phone number years ago because she's moved and the number can't possibly be the same, right? And you get a hold of these PR people and then they get back and say, Well, I talked to Yoko. She doesn't even know who you are. Jesus. Well, Yoko probably does know who I am. He just never asked her. Exactly. You know, he's felt he was like thinking for her. So unless you get to the actual person, your chances of getting them is not very good. Okay. He was screening her calls. That's it. Yeah. So, well, whatever. Finally, we did get a hold of Yoko. And for some reason, she said to me, 
they said to me, she wants, she will come on your, she wants to come on your show. She just doesn't want to talk about John. <laughs> and I thought to myself, well, how can I do that? Because I know her and I knew John and I knew the both of them together. So the stories that we would share would have to be stories of, that included John. And well, I could, the I, PR person was lying about that too. I couldn't, I couldn't get to her. So I just said, speaking of oh, big shots, everybody, <laughs> everybody cool at Giller's here. He might put you <laughs> on YouTube. Oh, there we go. You know, I don't, I don't oh, there you go. Hey. I'm sorry, I, you're, you're talking about Yoko. I, I, I'm butting in. Well, no, I'm through talking about Yoko, but you know, so I, I turned her down. I turned the interview down. I said, nobody tells me what's off. I, I used to tell you that no, nothing's off. Nobody can say, oh, we won't, I won't talk about thus and thus, you know? And and why, why shouldn't you, if you're going to be interviewed? Yeah. I'm going to promote your shitty product or program or whatever yeah. it is, yeah. but then we're going to have a conversation about what she's famous yeah. for. I mean, what else has she got? Yeah. <laughs> So, anyway, can you imagine Howard, anybody saying that to, to Howard Stern? Oh, no, but can't talk about that. Well, who would accept that? He wouldn't accept, accept that. that. No, would I, well, I, I wouldn't accept it either. There were no, I, you shouldn't. no boundaries. I said, you know, if, if tell me what you might not like, not feel comfortable talking about, and maybe out of being a decent human being, I won't ask it. But don't tell me I can't. Right. Yeah. But hell, hey, Geller. What? What's Here. happening, Geller? Mandy, this is what you need. That's what I said. Got any scuzzy cords? Yeah, there's this is your uh, horse <laughs> job. That's a um, that's a scuzzy, Mandy. But how do you? Where would you even hook it up? It's like this thin little thing that looks very scary. I know, that wouldn't do it, by the way, Geller. <laughs> oh, it's a ribbon. That's what you're looking for. The ribbon. No, he's, he's it, it, actually what it is is just a little. You know, it's a much smaller thing goes on there and on the small hard smaller hard drives that go in the uh notebooks uh i think it's a different one yeah but it's easy and they just have then it has a place where you can hook in the electricity okay and then uh you just hook it into a usb input and uh you're good to you go know, you notice the blanks it's, there it's <laughs> called it's called oh, frankenstein I, I, think, I think i lost her somewhere around <laughs> yeah. somewhere around usb i think no no this episode of, of tech talk with alex bennett is riveting it's fantastic <laughs> as soon as but he said Scuzzy, that was it he was gonna do it he had done it with an old computer of my sister's and was like oh yeah they because they were all sitting around at christmas her and my nephew and my daughter's like yeah yeah pull all those pictures off for us and then she never did it. But then she said, I need a special cord. And I said, don't go to all that trouble. So she gave it back to me. But I'm just saying, I, I just don't know where, where would you plug something into a hard drive? Like it just wait a minute, didn't. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Just like look at Vernon there. has. Look it's called Vernon. Frankensteining. This, now that's this, is a, this is a hard drive from a right. laptop that died oh, on me. It. This is the adapter I bought from amazon it has a power cord and it has a usb cord that's probably you plug what it in the adapter so how did you attach yep. the adapter hard drive the adapter has has mm -hmm. three different inputs that you can plug in it just so happens that this particular hard drive connects to this port but there's a port here that's different and there's a port here that's different to fit different hard drives well shoot uh, it's too late now i've already taken it to them so they're you know Sure, they're going to be successful and they're going to charge me that's fine i mean i know what's on this hard drive is pure gold like music i mean like videos and pictures so i need them it's like a whole section of time that i don't have any of pictures of my kids yeah so yeah well, all I mean, if it's easy for you to do it that way you know there's nothing wrong it, you're paying for the the labor basically and yeah. i think they charge you based on how much trouble they have and i i really don't think it'll be hard oh for that'd them be no trouble at all no trouble our drive is damaged you know what i mean so i think it'll be easy they may not charge me probably okay everybody have you seen my new watch <laughs> I, mean, I can't figure out how i'm sure works. we're going to say it oh, there we go <laughs> that's nice yeah i bought the uh the apple watch there we go <laughs> Well, because I figured my eyesight's kind of getting a little bad. And this Are thing we has kidding? A, big, a bigger screen. We, we, 
Marjorie, can't you say something <laughs> nice about me? <laughs> Touch. Mike Mike was in New York uh, this weekend uh, for this big uh, Rupert G Fest, and while there, he gave me this. I don't know if you can make it out. It, it's it's, a I don't even know what it was, and he had to explain it to me. It's an iP iPod Shuffle, uh, oh, wow. and oh, yeah. and Mike should explain what it is. Yeah, that was like the original. That was like <laughs> the old uh, solid yeah. state. Alex, what do we have in the kitchen? What do you mean? What do we have in the kitchen? Food? No, no, the little thing on top, the music thing. Radio. I mean the iPod. <laughs> What's a radio? You, What's a radio? You mean the iPod? You mean the iPod? In the kitchen. That's, it, 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 near the TV set, right? Yeah. That's an iPod. Not an iPad, an iPod, and that is what do you have there? It's an i. An iPod it's Shuffle. It's iPod Shuffle, shuffle yeah. which yeah. was their solid state version of an iPod. Yeah, no <laughs> screen on it. Yeah. So that was a gift that Barbara Gaines gave to the entire staff. I want to say it was 07, I think it was. Uh, and it's got monogrammed on it. Late show. 06. 06, yeah, 2006. So that was a that was a gift that she gave to the entire staff. And he must have when creamed when you gave that to him, right, Giller? <laughs> I'm sorry? He must have creamed when you gave that to him. I don't under I, I don't know the language you're using. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it was it was a something for the guy who has everything uh, present. And the cool thing about it was, we weren't sure exactly who gave it out, and so we actually got to go to Barbara and talk to her about it and say this was yours, right? And she looked at it and she said, "Yeah, where did you get?" It? And so we nice little story about. You don't that. know who don't gave know. it out, don't you? Mean Oot? <laughs> <laughs> He's from Canada. Yeah, so so the I mean the, the point of this is that uh, there, there's a that's that that's a, I what I think is is the the link to a cable that I should I mean it's dead you can't play it there's nothing going on with it um, but I ordered a cable uh, from Amazon I'll get it next week Isn't and hopefully I'll be able to recharge the battery and and see what's in here you know Apple Apple just recently has a major difference problem all this stuff has to come out with what's called a USB C port yeah before yeah. they always had their own that you couldn't hook to anything else you know they had that big block one and then they got one that was uh, uh this thing where is it I've got it here oh and it's not that one it's this is that one. where the earphones go it's, it? it's this one my so, daughter had one of those that was like the yeah. first Apple yeah. thing and and the trouble is Apple always liked to have priority. Okay, so nobody could use their stuff anywhere else and whatever. Yeah. Well, the reason they got the USB C now is because the government said you can only use USB C as an output from a device now. So now they're all USB C's. So Apple doesn't have priority anymore. It's Canadian thing. It, it stands for British Columbia. <laughs> Absolutely. So, how are you, Kevin? You've been quiet this hour. Good. He's the one that worked with me the other day to try and solve the problem of why I was getting like thumbs on my. On my yeah. <laughs> I know you figured it out earlier. Yeah. We yeah. Figured and it I did. It out. Well, just that when they started the new version of M uh, Mac uh, OS, did you upgrade to the new Mac OS? Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. Yep. The pro all of a sudden, up at the top of your screen, you get a green a little square. And then you click on that, and it brings a menu down. And one of it says gestures. Gesture. And you have to undo that. So. I actually got a few of those screenshots. I actually got them. I was, I was checking for them, and I found them. Yeah, but you know, you know how to do it now, right? No, make... I haven't. I haven't dug into it yet. Yeah, I mean, I can change. I can do it right now. Watch this. I have this. Have to, I, the, I guess people are not happy with me doing this a lot. But, but we are I, not. What does do it I matter? You you there we go. How do you like that? Ooh. It's a little. It's a little off brand. Well, you know something, Paula can do that right now too. Go ahead, Paula. It's all yours. Yeah. Oh, I must have turned it. Maybe I turned it off. No. Uh, could be, could be, but you just hold. Oh. There you go. Oh, there you go. go. <laughs> <laughs> you know You're something? That is maybe the most annoying thing that Apple ever created. 
I love it. I love it. Is it, <laughs> is it on we a computer? Hmm? What? Is it only on a computer? Yeah, because no, I keep it, it on it, my it, iPad. I think you can do it on your iPad. I'll show you later. I'm just downloading the new software on the iPad. I was hoping it'd be done by the time the show's done, but it's not. It takes it's a while. Taking its time, yeah. 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 But, uh, oh, look at the balloons. Oh, oh, how did you do that one? It's, it's, there's a whole bunch of them. You know, there's, there's, a, there's this one. Oh, oh I and see. And then there's, there's this one. <laughs> well, <okay. laughs> that's, that, that's the one for after you have the edible. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Yeah, okay. Oh, there's I see. Really? Oh, no, oh, right. Okay. This is like my internal, uh, you know, what I feel like. All right. Here's this. Oh, raining! Right. So, so I understand now. I understand what my granddaughter does. That's what she does. She plays. <laughs> that. Okay, good. There There's you go. Alex. That's kind of cute. In is Duck it, Club, it, it, Alex. Right. It's, there. Also, it's also going to be annoying as hell if people do it to me during shows. There we go. There. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because that was coming up and nobody knew it was going on. And you were just, I think right. you were just putting your hand by your head and all of a sudden it would pop up. How and we, we thought that somebody was listening in our conversation well, we figured last it, week. We figured after we were almost through, we have a little conversation on Saturday nights. After we were through the conversation, you brought it up. And I did this and then it, it uh, then I began it to did see the firework it. thing. Yeah, then I did the fireworks thing. And we went, it's got to be something. And I went up to the, you know, the little green box. And that's where I found gestures. So, so you can right. automatically, you can automatically register your, your responses to anything that somebody says. I don't know. That's, that's yeah. it. That looks dangerous to well, me. Well, that by clicking on those, but uh, also you can do that by, well, I, I, well this is. Right. What, There's a thumbs up and thumbs down thing. Yeah. Here's a, here's a thumbs down thing. Mm-hmm. So if I don't like what you say, I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> right in the middle of the page. Or you just do this. Yeah, you, know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could. <laughs> but anyway, that drove me crazy over the weekend for a while. <laughs> uh, and we f thank you for helping me figure it out, Kevin. Yeah. I wrote Kevin after the show. I said, I think I figured it all out. You know, and it uh, worked very nicely. When do we get to a point as a, as a society when all we're sending each other is going to be emojis? That we're, yeah, gonna right. talk. we're not even going to put our cameras on. We're yep. just going to send fucking <laughs> emojis. When on the, when on the, uh, do when, that now. When on the application I know, but what, when is it says, be? says, what languages do you speak? One of them will be emoji. Yeah. Believable. It's retro. It's hieroglyphics <laughs> coming back, making their big return. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like you feel like your, your text to some <laughs> late to add an emoji right you, you, there's got to be a smiley face or something our 26 year old uh is emojis and gifts that's the other one there'll be a text string and all it is is gifts going back and forth mm -hmm. that say certain things well, well what i do what i do when, I'm, when somebody writes it's me. gif by the way when somebody writes me oh here we go not up here in canada not up here in canada albert <laughs> when, when they they somebody like you know sends me a a message by a text and i get it on my phone it's easier for me to just hit the thumbs up till i <laughs> oh i got it you know usually it means i, I got it leave me alone you know <laughs> oh that's this <laughs> i wonder if that will no i think i tried that yeah we tried that it didn't mm -hmm. work you know but isn't it nice that you can use gestures now? this oh the watch here's the thing the, uh, here apple, we go. This is the newest apple thing i can't show you <laughs> but it reacts completely to like if i make my fist go like this it turns it on and then i can go like this to make it go down oh, one down to the next thing you know i can use everything using my fingers what it's your new toy no i just it's just something that makes it more convenient to use oddly it, until the arthritis kicks in <laughs> yeah yeah well that's that's another oh. story altogether the arthritis is in this hand so it doesn't matter you know but uh um so uh, let me see here how, how have you been uh, charlie what's happened i've been better 
How, how's the Cowboys doing there, Charlie? <laughs> oh, I wasn't going to say that. 1992, when the Cowboys <laughs> beat the 49ers in the playoffs. How, how did the uh, lower endoscopy go? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that went perfect. Oh, good. Yeah, good. but let me ask you this. Whether you say thing, you could be better, what's wrong? <laughs> You obviously didn't watch the Cowboy game last night. No, I, mean, I haven't watched a football game in my entire life. What do you? What there do wasn't a football game now? last night either. One of the teams didn't show up. I cannot believe how badly uh, Dak Prescott was playing yesterday. Yeah. You know, I mean, I really wanted it to be a closer game. Man. I keep was, going. I did you know, too. When you do this, I get to keep my sports in me. Go ahead. <laughs> I mean. You knew from the first first series that, that the Cowboys weren't there. Yeah. But they commit four penalties on the first uh, first series. Like, what, yeah. what are you doing? <laughs> the interceptions killed them too. So yeah. Yeah. So I had to drink a lot of tequila last night. <laughs> <laughs> when you say penalties. I couldn't. I was on the third deck, so I, I'd have fallen down. Oh, nice. When you say penalties, is that like flogging? <laughs> they should have been flogged for a couple of them. <laughs> well, look at, look all, at, all I know is I was at the game and, the, and half of the stadium emptied out by the third quarter. Yeah. Oh, there was oh, a really? lot of cowboy fans there. Yeah. I mean, people spent a fortune to fly out there, get tickets. And yeah, exactly. Hotel and all that stuff. Three guys in front of me, there was like three or four of them in front of me. And one guy took off his hat and let the Niner guys stomp all over it. <laughs> he says, we suck. Here, go ahead. Oh wow. <laughs> it was pretty funny. I have no idea what they're talking yeah. about. <laughs> he, doesn't. he doesn't. He doesn't. You're still getting your, your Emmy, Emmy, so go ahead and polish it. Go ahead and polish your Emmy. I will. It's sports talk with Alex Bennett. Yeah. You know, I, have a, I actually have a Emmy for sports. And it's been one minute now. Well so you're deserved. Good. Huh? <laughs> well deserved. You showed us the, 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 the video. I showed the video, the didn't I? Yeah. yeah. yeah I couldn't good. tennis this year. But the what? scoring process was. <laughs> oh, yeah. I finally kind of got into what the <laughs> scoring was on tennis. <laughs> I've forgotten it now, but uh, you know, I got into it. And once you know how a game is scored. Then you can kind of enjoy it. You know? Well, I like, do oh, you just Where watching... have you been, Alex? Huh? <laughs> what? Like, where have you been? <laughs> where have I been? Out having fun. You know, <laughs> once the Today yeah. Show, they had a 40, they had a Super Bowl at Stanford, I think, one year. They 1985. Did. 1985. Yeah. And the um, Today Show calls me up and says, we'd like you to be on the Today Show. Come out and film you uh for the today show because we hear you're the only guy in san francisco who doesn't care about football right now <laughs> <laughs> and i said well you got me correct she said can we come out and interview you and they came out and interviewed me and they said uh, what's the best part about not being interested in the super bowl i said all the wives i can have sex with who don't have their husbands <laughs> <laughs> cut <laughs> I can't remember whether it made it to the show or not. <laughs> really? <laughs> but uh, no, but what it is is, gee, my ring just fell off. <clears throat> You're divorced. <laughs> <laughs> I must be getting thinner. Are you something. getting skinnier again? I don't yeah. know. I don't know. That was wife number two, wasn't it? The second time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wife number four. Yeah, I know, but when he said that comment, his ring fell off. So he, you know, <laughs> there was something going on there. Yeah. But what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah. So I, I used to have biggest football players in America from the from the 49ers come on, you know, yeah. and explain football to me. And I still couldn't understand it. Because when they start off, they say, Well, you got to get three downs, and then I go back further and explain what the down is. I mean, you you know, it's just it's it's. I never can. Maybe if there's something up here, but it's maybe because the same. Because I never wanted to learn. Maybe it's the same yeah. reason that Don Giller doesn't leave the house. You know, I don't know. <laughs> Don Giller was at the party on. 
Friday night. He was there at the Atlanta Theater with everybody. Don Killer got out of the house. Wow. He came to the party and it was awesome. And he was highlighted there. It was a very, very cool thing. He left the house. Yeah. And the Letterman (laughs) people made a big deal about him too. It was cool. Wow. Yeah. Hey, Don, Mm -hmm. if you ever came over, we'll make a big deal about you. Because he's a big shot. Here. I can't understand what anybody's saying. It's just it's just a blank screen. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Marjorie. Marjorie, is there anywhere you can pick up that iPad and go over and show people the cat? The cat's in the closet. I'm going to leave her be. Really? Tom's yeah. going to come to the big uh, Monday pop up cruise, right? I mean, we're going to be doing. He's that. in the closet. <laughs> I'm letting her be. Her parents are coming back to pick her up tonight. And we've been taking care of a cat for three days, four days. This time she'd been a lot of fun. Been yeah. a lot of fun, you know. Um, you know, so anyway, well, hey, we've run out of time. Yes, we have. Come on, this hour goes by so fast. I wish every day. week were Columbus Day, because look how many people we got here. Yay. You know? <laughs> Ton of people. If uh, if uh, a couple other people normally call this show had called it today, we would have had the largest amount of people I think we've ever had here. Let's let's say bad stuff about Brian because I know he's yeah. yeah yeah. Thanks a lot, Brian. Thanks a lot, Brian. Yeah, could have made a record. Who else didn't come today? Um, yeah. Well, anyway, hey, listen. Good talking to all of you, um, Mandy. Have a nice rest of the Columbus Day. Always a pleasure to see you. Uh, uh, Mike Chisholm, thank you. We appreciate it. Happy Charlotte, Thanksgiving, you kids. You haven't said a word today. I've just been listening and enjoying. Well, now you said a word. <laughs> <laughs> Always good having you here. Uh, same thing with Jeff. Jeff, we haven't really heard much out of you today, but it's all right. Well, I, you know, we like hearing from you. Uh, of course, the uh, wonderful Len Frisco, who uh, calls every week, and uh, Pauline. Uh, Paula. Paula. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Well, was, <laughs> how did you do that? That was beautiful. Hmm. Well, there's a storm. <laughs> Paula, great Paula. talking to you. Marjorie, where did you go? Where did she go? Better watch out behind you. I guess when the ring fell <laughs> off, she left me. But she's uh, going to get the cat. Oh, is she going to get the cat? No. I don't know. That's my guess. I doubt it. I doubt it. Uh, 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 our, our good friend, uh, Vernon Nunn, always a pleasure to have you here, as well as Charlie Wallace. Uh, Albert? Your faithful intern. Your faithful intern. <laughs> um, this is the second time I've talked to you today. The Let's first make time it the I last. Thought, forgot I was I was supposed to, uh, and I get a note from him going, "Where are you?" So no, I said, "Shall we dance?" No. <laughs> and you said, "I'll be right there." I'll be right there. I, oh my God, I forgot. You know, uh, because I normally don't do interviews on Monday, so I forgot about it. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Kevin, for being here and talking sports and getting me Miami back. Uh, and uh, Don Geller, always, you know, you know, you could call every day and I would be happy. It would make my day. Uh, well, you're the one. And finally, and. we close off the show as we always do. And the right. immortal words. <laughs> and this will have to last for two weeks because I won't be here next week. I'll be out of town. Oh, oh no. no. Well, well oh. you're going to have to do it. I'll leave next week. <laughs> oh. I'll have to say that. Yeah. Quick, I'll be make, back make the a week recording. after. Don't worry. I don't Quick, know. make a recording, Alex. Make a recording. Yeah, make a recording of what I said. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's all, folks. Bye, Bye everybody. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, Alex.